there is no shortage of energy on Earth. It falls out of the sky every day. It's abundant, there are no carbon emissions, and all we have to do is gather it up. There's just one little problem. Every night, the shadow of the Earth gets in the way. To capture the energy of the sun, we must get out of the shadow. In deep space, the sun always shines. Solar panels in the proper orbit absorb 10 times the amount of energy than those on the ground, and they do it 24-7. In space, where weight is no problem, gossamer-thin structures can grow like enormous flower petals, many kilometers on a side. Sunlight gathered by the huge array is converted to a microwave or laser beam, then transmitted to special ground stations on Earth and can provide more than all of our current energy needs. It's a bold idea whose time has finally come. Space-based solar power is an idea that's been around as long as the space program itself. In the early days, visionaries imagined astronauts building structures in space the size of small towns. It was a dream to provide clean, abundant, reliable electricity. Too bad it couldn't be done. At least, not then. After 50 years of spaceflight, one thing has become very clear. It's expensive. Every flight of the space shuttle now costs more than one billion dollars. And the largest space construction project ever undertaken, the International Space Station, will have a price tag of over a hundred billion before it's even begun to do science. And this is small compared to a solar power satellite. But as Bob Dylan said, the times they are a changing. It will soon be much cheaper to reach space and build things up there. It's still an expensive dream, but the payback from the energy solar power satellites provide will be enormous. Our need to keep ourselves warm, cool, move from place to place, while keeping our electronic gadgets topped up, is straining our energy systems to the limit. And that demand for power is expected to triple by 2100. And even more serious, carbon emissions from fossil fuels are warming the atmosphere of the planet. We need a clean energy alternative to avoid further climate change. There is some effort to reduce our fossil fuel use. Gas tanks are being replaced with electric plugs. But all those batteries in electric cars need to be charged, which will place even further demand on the electric grid. A lot of hope has been placed in conservation, wind, solar and biofuels. But they're not enough. As long as these are on the ground where the wind doesn't always blow and the sun doesn't always shine, they will never produce more than a quarter of our total energy needs. The clean answer, the true alternative source of energy, hangs over our heads, and a new breed of spacefarers will help bring it down to Earth. The elements of space-based solar power are now coming together. Private rocket companies are designing unmanned space vehicles at one-tenth the cost of current systems. Thanks to microelectronics and miniaturized motors, structures in space can assemble themselves. Astronauts are no longer necessary for construction. A solar power satellite can virtually build itself. And when it comes to robots, Canada builds the best. Canadarm 1 and 2, Dexter, as well as a host of other robotic technologies will change the way construction work is carried out in space. The dream of providing abundant, clean energy without compromising the environment is closer to reality than ever. That's why Space Canada, in cooperation with the International Academy of Astronautics, is hosting an international symposium on solar power from space. Scientists, policymakers, and visionaries will gather at the Ontario Science Centre in Toronto to bring the concept of solar power satellites down to Earth. There's much to be discussed. The scale of this project is greater than any space program in history. Which countries will join together and be the first to move forward in this bold initiative? How will the public be reassured that a microwave or a laser beam shining down from space will be safe? Where will the ground stations be located? What about security? 
The challenges for space-based solar power are still tremendous, but the benefits to humanity are even greater. The time is now. So join us in Toronto, September 09, and bring the sun to the earth.